This unassuming body of water was once a sand pit where clay and other minerals were extracted for use as landfill. Sadly, it is also the same place where 20-year-old Nigel Welch lost his life earlier today. This morning, Welch, his stepfather and two other individuals visited the location, approximately four miles away from where they live in Hatteville. It is said that the men who accompanied Welch to the pond knew that he could not swim, but somehow he ended up in the water. Shaquem Richards was among the first responders. I called my mom, and I called my mom. She said she didn't know what happened. And I thought, I, she called me back and said, if, if we could please assist. So I told her, hey, the divers know what I'm doing. All right, make we go so. My, hey, well, all right, my brother, I got off the car. All right, then he can pick up we. Then we, well, then we came to this location. By the time they arrived at the scene and were able to retrieve Walt from the pool, he had been submerged for almost an hour. When he got to the location, they said he, he um, just get in the water over there. So we got in, fin, diving glass, search approximately about five to, five to um, seven minutes. We bring up, we find out. The depth, according to Richards, is no more than 11 feet of water. Not only was Welch unable to swim, but it also appears that he may have gotten tangled beneath the surface. But what was their initial purpose for being there? Some say they came fishing. As far as I know, as far as I can see, no fish there in here. Not even Bilam. And that's where the story gets a bit murky. Family members say that Welch did not get along well with his stepfather. The other two persons whom they were with were not fond of him either. They allege that something untoward happened that the trio is keeping secret. Four of them are in the water. Apparently, they said the young boy, and I know he don't know if he swim. They said they were in the water, but I don't know how he get in the water, I don't know where going on. But I personally hear they have three people that are stationed pertaining the same crime, the same jungle of my cousin. Is there anything to suggest that this would have any element of foul play? I really don't want to point finger, honestly, but the talking way I get the understanding from the road that something wrong, something wrong somewhere, something wrong, something gone wrong. The location is very remote, about two and a half miles off the Boom Hattieville Road in the vicinity of the Belize Central Prison. There is nothing to suggest on the surface that Welch's drowning may have been the result of foul play. However, an investigation is underway while the trio of men remains in custody at the Hatteville Police Station. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Kayetano.